Uh, in this presentation, I want to talk about uh, my experience of the, the MR guide, the, the reasoning of the bilateral part of the anterior limb of internal capsule for obsessive compulsive disorders. I already finished uh, the phase one feasibility test and uh, we recruit, recruit long-term results and uh, I wanna show the one-year uh, follow-up result of these patients. As you know, the psychosurgery has been a long history like this and uh, currently the single lotomy, capsule lotomy, subcultural tractotomy and remilotomies are using for the treatment of the obsessive compulsive disorders. Initially, we were trying to use this and the single lotomy with this device. However, the single room was outside of the treatment envelope with focused ultrasound. So we chose the, the capsule to, to make a lesion uh, in the, the bottom of the internal capsule. However, when you look at the literatures, the, this capsulotomy also can make many problems with uh, radio frequency lesioning or gamma knife uh, radio surgeries. Uh, I underwent this procedure about uh, three and a half years ago. Uh, this was my first patient, immediately after the sonications. And the, the patient returned to school uh, six months after the treatments. And recently, the patient graduated university and found a job in our society. Uh, this is the, the, our initial result for the six months follow-up. Uh, among 11 patients, the four patients met the criteria of the responder. Responder means the improvement of the OCD scale, so-called Y-box score is more than 33%. And the depression was improved a lot in the majority of the patients. Anxiety was also improved a lot, almost immediate after the treatments. This is the MR imaging after the treatments. This is before, immediately after treatments, one week, one month, six months after treatment. As we uh, demonstrate in, in our cases with Parkinson disease, you can see the, the signal changes in the anterior part of the internal capsule like this. And the real robust findings compared to the RF region or the gamma knife radio surgeries because uh, the, the characteristic of the focal ultrasound, we only can make a discrete region only in the internal capsule. I believe that this is the, really the beneficial effect of the, these treatments. So we also underwent the high resolution MRI and PET in eight patients. We demonstrate uh, decreased glucose metabolism in the frontal lobe and the caudate nucleus of the patients. And we also the identify the difference in the tissue response of the patient with the OCD compared to the essential tremor. We published this result two years ago. And uh, we reported that this result uh, in last year's for the molecular psychiatry for the proof of the concept. And we also evaluated the, the side effect. We underwent you know, the full the battery of the neurocognitive function in all of these patients. And some of the patients demonstrated the worsening, but the, some other patients demonstrate the improvement of the neurocognitive function like this. So statistically, there was no changes uh, of the neurocognitive function after the MR guide for ultrasound lesion for obsessive compulsive disorders. It is quite interesting result compared to the, our previous experience with the uh, radio surgery or the RF lesion. And we had the, the more long-term results. We, are, we had the, the one-year follow-up result of these patients. This bold red line is the, the mean score. And as you see, the, there was a gradual the further improvement at the one year follow-up. This finding was pretty similar with the result of the, our uh, experience of the deep brain stimulation. The, as we demonstrated, depression was all robust in the immediate after treatments and maintained well until one year after the treatment. Anxiety was also improved a lot like this. 
As I demonstrated, the, many of the, these patients has the difficulty of the temperature rise because of the many the factors of fatting skull density and volumes. I think the, uh, we need to overcome the, some of these issues. The first of all, we need to find you know, the optimal candidate of the MR guide focal ultrasound compared to the, the deep brain stimulations. And as I demonstrated, it has clear benefit compared to the artery fusioning or the gamma knife radio surgeries. However, in our experience, some of my patients, we could not make a lesion in the other side. However, the patient also demonstrate the benefit. So we also need to compare the, the effect of the unilateral lesioning compared to the bilateral lesioning. And also, we only evaluate the MR imaging and the PET, but we need to find the more objective measurement method to evaluate the effect of these treatments. Thank you. Um, Uh, questions, please. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait. One question. More of a comment. Um, very humbly presented um, and excellent work, uh, which is exactly what needs to be done for the return to lesioning for psychosurgery. I and mean, this is a landmark work. Um, I have one question about the target. Um, DBS, as you know, is suggesting perhaps that the target is more ventral and medial. Uh, do you think that lesions in the nucleus accumbens are something that you would like to try? Yeah, well, it's very interesting and very important questions. And the, uh, there are still the controversial issues of the best target, in, even in the DBS. And the, I was always worrying about you know, the, the making a lesion in the nucleus uh, compens. However, as you know, the, if we are making a lesion in the nucleus uh, compens, there's a chance of the complications. But I just want to touch the, just above the nucleus circumference. So it's about six to seven millimeter, millimeter anterior from the, uh, from the anterior commission. So uh, I, I did, but in, the, in, the, in my next plan is in the, if we have you know, the real, you know, the good result of this one, some days later we want to go further down to touch the nucleus circumference. A really super work. Yeah. Thank you.